Hey guys, today we are jumping back into the Janemba banner. In my video yesterday, I went in, I think I only did one rotation on the Janemba banner. I did the two rounds of the premium tickets, and then I did the free, I think it was the uh, multi with normal tickets that they gave us from Pilaf's Trove, and then I did my one round of discounts on Janemba banner, and then I did my free multi, and that was it. We ended up getting two Janembas. Funny enough, they were both off of the tickets. One was off the premium tickets, and one was off of the uh, regular 10 tickets. So we're going in here. We're trying to get at least one more copy of Janemba. So we got uh, Piccolo and Gohan here. This is um, only the second round that I've been doing on this banner. So in total up to this point, we've used 110 stones. Because remember, there are discounts on this banner. I think it was 30, 35, and then 45. So that's 110 stones in total. So this is going to be our first rotation that's not discounted on this banner. Right now we have two Janembas. We're trying to find copy number three. And um, hopefully we can get lucky because I feel like three copies of Janemba is a pretty nice spot to be in with him. Um, and we actually do pull one here. So <laughs> there we go. Janemba number three has been pulled. Um, in, case you haven't in, case, in case you haven't been able to tell, this is post commentary, by the way. Um, I did these summons, I think, while working. Um, and I screen recorded them in case something happened that I could put a video up. But um, this is not a very long clip here. Uh, pretty much just uh, wanted to show you guys what happened uh, with this banner. And again, this is the this is the first rotation we're doing that's not discounted. So we've used 110 stones, and then this is going to be 150 added onto that. So that's 260 in total that we've used, um, up, uh, you know, throughout this these these summons that we've done so far. So I think we're going to jump into the free multi here. So keep in mind we're at three Janembas. Um, I am sort of debating in my head while I'm doing this free summon, do I even want to go back in? Because right now I feel like Janemba at two dupes is pretty fine. You don't really need another one. Um, it's kind of like PyCon, but I mean, for me, I, I'm just not a huge fan of the character PyCon, more so than the actual unit themselves. Like, even if PyCon was absurdly good, I wouldn't really care. <laughs> He's definitely not bad at all. Um, but for somebody like Janemba, I actually really like Janemba as a character. Um, I don't really think he's incredibly good as a unit, but he's definitely not bad. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like, you know, them releasing finally a fat Janemba that transforms into the Super Janemba is something we've been asking for for so long that I gotta at least give them some respect for that. Um, and I believe, what is this, like the first, uh, is this the free summon? I wasn't looking. <laughs> All right, well, um, anyway, we are still at three Janembas. Um, I think I decide to go back in for one more rotation, then I'm probably done on the banner to see how things go here. And uh, so we're just basically shifting through these these characters, not really seeing anything too exciting pop up here. There's the guaranteed slot. So that was the first of the of this rotation. So this is the second non-discounted rotation. There's Trunks carrying my, so hopefully something good comes up here. Um, I believe we don't even get like any sort of like a da or anything like that pop up here. No Super Saiyan God animation, no nothing. So. Um, you know, I'm probably I'm thinking this is probably going to be something like Turtles or something like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, but we're going through getting a lot of SR Janembas, which is nice because we could use them uh, to feed into the SSR for super attack levels. I pulled another one of these trunkses, which is kind of like okay, and then we pull another Janemba right afterwards. So we are currently at four out of five, and at this point, I'm just like, all right, since we pulled four out of five, I might as well just go for the <laughs> I might as well just go for the last copy of Janemba at this point. Um, again, I think, you know, a lot of people have given flack, given Janemba flack, uh, for his design. And I, well, I think he's not like the best designed unit ever. I definitely don't think he deserves the hate that he's been getting from a lot of people, um, that are pretty vocal about how much they don't like him. Look at this multi, by the way. We got no one flying in. We got Super Saiyan 1 into Maju, but it's the only SSR. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, Gohan and Piccolo here. So this is, I believe, the free summon. So um, this is going to be the uh, last summon of the second rotation that we're doing that's not discounted. So we got a long coming out, which means we're getting a featured unit guarantee, which is a festival exclusive. And um, we got a fake out off of Naze, and it is actually the fifth Geneva that we needed. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. So in total, this is what we have to keep in mind. In total, we pulled five Janembas. And let, let me just pause this for a second right here. So if you take a look here, we're at 727 stones. If you guys take a look at the amount of stones that I used up until this point, I'm pretty sure we only used, because um, keep in mind, so we, we did two regular rotations that weren't discounted, right? Then we did the first discounted rotation. So in total, we used 300 stones for the two non-discounted rotations. Then we used 110 for the discounted rotations. And that was it, because we used the tickets to pull the other two copies. So in total, 
on this banner, I only used 410 stones to Rainbow Janemba. I think when you look across the uh, history of Dokkan Fest for me, and let me let me just switch over to the actual game here. Um, when you look when you look across the actual history of the Dokkan Fest that have exist in this game, I think when you consider that it took me 410 stones to Rainbow this Janemba, it might be the luckiest Dokkan Fest unit I've ever summoned on. Um, it, it's just it, 410 stones for a rainbow. That's like unheard of. Now, granted, there's tickets, there's free summons. The Pilafs Trove packs really helped because I pulled two copies from those tickets. So I think, you know, at the end of the day, it, I, it took me 410 stones, but it secretly, you know, really took me a little bit more than that just because of all the free stuff they're throwing at us on Global over here. But let's talk about this unit real quick. Um, let's, let's wrap the video up by talking about him quickly and my thoughts about you know people calling him underwhelming and stuff like that i think there needs to be a distinction made between people calling a unit bad and a people calling a unit um poorly designed because in my mind a poorly designed unit is a unit that is um configured in a way where they're not accomplishing the goal that they're set out to do and their kit is like contradictory to itself. And for me, the prime example, the best example I can give that is an actual unit in the game of a unit that is very poorly designed is Int Android 16. I think we can all agree that Int Android 16 is a poorly designed unit. And when, when people say poorly designed, what does that actually mean? And so in the instance of Android 16, the Int one, he's poorly designed because he is made and designed to be ran alongside any, any Gohan, right? He wants to support Gohan units. The fact of the matter is he can't in most cases because he doesn't really share the many categories with Gohan. He doesn't share a typing with Gohan, meaning he can't run under the leader skill portion where it's specific to typing. So when that unit came out alongside the AGL LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, people like uh, he actually served no purpose other than to be on one specific setup, which was with the int cell as the leader. So you would have Cell's leader, and then you'd run the Gohan and the 16 together under that leader skill. And that was really the only setup you would run those those two under, because that's the only way you could actually get them to be on the same team together. Because for whatever reason, they decided not to make Android 16 AGL, which would have at least allowed him to run under Gohan's leader skill, but they, for whatever reason, decided not to do that. So that is a prime example of a unit that is very, very poorly designed. But in Janemba's case, let's take a look at what his passive says. So his passive is 120% attack and defense, guards all attacks, and then he gives extreme class allies key plus two, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with four or more type key spheres, and then he reduces damage received by 30% with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. To me, there's nothing super contradictory about this passive. The passive is not fantastic, um, but when you compare the like the, the the concept of this passive to the concept of android 16's passive android 16's passive actually doesn't function as you would want it to function um because you actually in, in under any circumstances there is only one specific scenario under which you can get his passive to be useful in this passive i would argue that the design is not poor i would argue that the scaling or the or the uh, the power level is poor because I think the biggest uh, criticism that this unit has when he was when he was released on JP and when, you know, people are starting to use him on Global now, the biggest criticism that I've seen from people about this specific unit is the fact that he needs four key spheres to get um, that uh, the support passive, right? So you need four key spheres to give key plus two and an additional attack and defense plus 30%. Um, and then also two rainbow key spheres too for the damage reduction, I feel like. Because Pycon only needs one rainbow to get his, I think it's the, the dodging for him. And Janemba needs two. And I think also Pycon needs three key spheres to get his support while Janemba needs four. So I think at the end of the day, I would have much rather preferred this Janemba to only need like two or three key spheres as well as one rainbow key sphere to get his full passive active. But to me, that's not, that's not a fault of his design. It's a fault of sort of like how powerful he is or how power I, I don't want to say power crep but um just just how tuned the unit is i think feel like that that's a good word to use here the unit is not tuned to a level to make him feel good enough in a meta that we're in right now because again the design of this unit is that of a floating unit i i see this unit and i instantly think of him as a floater right you put your number in slot three and you just let him get his passive when you can because it's not very reliable 
and he's able to defend and guard well against pretty much everything because of his defense and his guard against all attacks, right? So that's that's where he slides into, um, you know, being useful here. But there is, like, nowhere in the game where, you know, like, Android 16 can be useful because his, his, his usability and his usefulness all come from a specific part of his passive that is nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense. And that is why that design is flawed. Th this design is not flawed because it's nonsensical and, and, and it cannot never be achieved. It's because the tuning is off. They, they, they undertuned this unit. That's why. I don't think it's a design issue. I think it's a tuning issue. So I think that's where, in terms of you know how I see people criticizing this unit, that's where I feel like the disconnect is, at least for me. Um, I, I don't think the design on this unit is actually bad at all. I think it's fine. Um, I just think they should have, I just think he's undertuned at the end of the day. That, that's my argument here. So that's pretty much what I have to say about this guy. Let me know down below what you think about my summons and also the fact that people are calling this guy, you know, uh, I guess badly designed. I don't, I don't agree with that, but that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.